Hi Taurus and welcome to your love reading. This is the dream medium. Welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. We're going to be looking into your love life to see what's going on. What's going on in Taurus's love life? Taurus, what's going on in Taurus's love life? Taurus, what is going on in Taurus's love life? Oop. Tell me about Taurus's love life. What's going on, Taurus? What's going on in Taurus's love life? Taurus. Ooh, Taurus, what's going on? Let's see. Okay. So you have the Page of Swords paired with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. What's going on in Taurus's love life? Queen of Cups. What's going on in Taurus's love life? King of Wands. Clarify the pick. Oh, wow. Five of Cups. Okay, we'll put that here. Clarify the page of Swords. So pages represents a form of communication. Hmm, three of cups. Hmm, Taurus, okay. I feel like you saw something that you were very unhappy about. Okay, I see you, Taurus, as it's like the page of swords here. You may have been lurking, keeping tabs on a particular individual. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this was through social media. Like you saw something on social media or you got some sort of news um, about a particular person that you have been interested in. Um and it wasn't good news. It was news that caused you to be the queen of wands. It caused you to have your guards up towards this individual. It caused you it caused you to not only be guarded but also defensive. It was something that did cause some sort of anger or frustration within you. Um and it also caused you with the 4 of pentacles. It also caused you to hold back you know, hold back from this individual, you became much more cautious and much more protective of the abundance that you have. You were becoming unwilling to share your abundance, to share yourself with this individual due to some sort of information that you received. And then you have the three of cups. So it was more, I feel like it's certainly, you know, some sort of third party situation here that made you take a step back and not want to interact with this person anymore. Um, for most of you, things were going well. For for most of you, you were getting to know this person. There's some sort of collaboration here going on going on between you and this individual. But then when you saw this particular situation or whatever news or whatever it is that you saw, you know, it it made you take a step back. It made you become quite guarded. Even here on the back of the deck, you have the hermit, all right? So it caused you to go in hermit mode. You stopped being expressive to this person. Some of you could have even ghosted this person. You just kind of drifted away from them. Clarify the queen of cups. Clarify the queen of cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is someone who um, certainly has her eyes set on someone, all right? This is someone who is open. Clarify the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is also someone who carries lots of deep feelings and emotions. Ten of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Cups.
Hmm. So you have the Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Interesting. I feel like with the Queen of Cups being clarified by the strength, I feel like right now you're trying, you're coping, but you may not be using the healthiest coping mechanism. And I'll tell you why. So you have the strength here. It's like you're not done healing from the heartbreak that you felt after finding out something about this individual who, who you're interested in. But instead of you taking the time to heal, to cry it out, shout it out, whatever, you know, that will help you heal. Instead of you doing that, it's like I see you jumping into the dating scene and being open to getting to know other people. Um, but it's only going to do you harm because even though you're open to other people, getting to know other people, you're trying your hardest to, with the strength here, you're having the strength to not allow the situation to bring you down. It's like, emotionally, you're still carrying this past baggage. You're still feeling burdened or worried and stressed out about the situation with them, which is why with the Nine of Cups, I see you being quite self-indulgent. I see you doing things to cope, doing unhealthy things. Things that are not healthy for your um, emotional stability. Doing things, being self-indulgent, just to bring you temporary fulfillment and that's why you and you end up becoming sad again um the nine of cups here you could be getting to know multiple people getting sat satisfaction from multiple people just doing a little bit too much okay um you know you want to make sure that you give yourself time to heal as well um, instead of just like trying to get a rebound or something. So you have the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, this person still has your heart. As a matter of fact, you believed that this person was the one. The Ten of Pentacles is out here. Okay, before this heartbreak, you saw a future with them. They were your ideal partner. You know, when you thought about the future, when you thought about, let's say you want marriage and children, for example, you thought about having those things with them. You were once exclusively open to them and them only. Um, you know, and so I, I, I get it. I get that you're hurt. I get that you also don't want to hold or keep on waiting on them. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying make sure that you are also feeling and, and letting yourself to release those emotions instead of just trying to move on to the next so you have the seven of cups you have options you know you're looking out there you're trying to get to know other people um like i said you have pushed yourself in into the dating scene um but just make sure to not do too much don't be too self-indulgent now um you have the king of wands being paired with the five of cups let's see clarify the king of wands Clarify the King of Wands. Okay, so you have the Five of Wands and you have the Lovers. Let's pull out one more. The thing is, they're not happy seeing you um, dealing with other people. Maybe that's why you even did it. Maybe you did it to like get a reaction out of them, Taurus. If you did, well, it worked because they're here as a king of wands. They're feeling very uneasy. Um, they're no longer just sitting back and being content with, with how things are between the two of you. They're like, wait a second, what's going on? Things are not going as they planned. Clarify the king of wands. And now you are on their radar. Yeah, you're certainly on their radar. Okay, yeah, Ace of Swords. Maybe you were, Taurus, you're very smart. I feel like most of you was, you know, you guys were doing it um, intentionally because like I said, King of Wands, they're seeing this and you're making them feel very nervous 
and uneasy. Five of Cups is here. You're they're feeling regretful now. Now they're looking at what they missed out on. You even have the Five of Wands, all right? So you're causing some sort of like inner turmoil within themselves. They're now feeling quite conflicted within themselves. The Five of Wands here is not really... It could be for some of you that they're literally trying to fight with you and start and start a disagreement with you um, because they're unhappy with you dating other people, getting to know other people. But I feel like for most of you, it's not necessarily them fighting with you, but it's like them fighting with themselves, them kind of questioning if they did the right thing now that they're seeing you deal with other people or getting to know other people. You have the lovers that's here which representing a soulmate connection. It seems like most of them, Taurus, for most of you, this individual kind of felt like you would always wait on them or just be there for them all the time as they live their life. Because with the lovers, they recognize, they know that there's something unique about this connection between the two of you that they won't be able to find. Um, but I see them being a little bit too comfortable with where they had you and perhaps you knew what you were doing by going out there and getting to know other people in order to show them that you're not always going to be you're not going to be waiting on them forever it really did work because this king of wands here is like wait a second what's going on here um there is a little bit of not even a little there's a good amount of possessiveness from them so you have the King of Swords, all right? The King of Swords is them no longer wanting to play games. The King of Swords is a very honest and straightforward individual. This is someone who actually cuts out the games, who cuts out the BS, who only wants to be honest and transparent with you. So it looks here that they are done playing games. Of course, they're done playing games when you start playing games with them, when you start doing the same thing that they were doing to you. Ooh, Taurus, I like you guys. I see what you guys are doing. Trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. And honestly, as some some may say it's immature, but hey, it works because now they want to cut out the games and they want to be honest and transparent about, about you or with you. Even here on the back of the deck, oh my, you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords represents clarity, the truth. So now they're definitely wanting to be honest, like I said, and transparent and tell you the truth. Tell you the truth about how they really feel. No more playing games. All right, Taurus. So um, I absolutely love your reading. I really hope it helps. I hope it gives you some sort of clarity or confirmation. Please remember it's general. So only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You're welcome to book a private reading with me. The link to my website is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much. All right, and take care.